Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of The Mainline, we're going to be taking a look at the Ultimate Stations mod. Now, this isn't a tutorial as such, but we're just going to be playing around with this new mod. Well, relatively new mod. It's been out a few weeks, but this is the first time I've actually had a good opportunity to actually use it and use it as a proper station rather than just messing around with the settings and seeing what the mod is all about. Uh, so in the last episode, we set up the steel. Well, in the last two episodes, we set up the uh, machines factory uh, supply chain so we've got lumber steel going into the machines factory and I've set up the route supplying machines to Reading. Done that off camera because it's not particularly exciting it was just a literally a little bit of a road. I'm putting some trucks on I uh, think actually just taking a look at that we probably don't need three trucks to be honest let's um, sell one of them doesn't really matter too much but uh, i don't want to be losing too much money as you can see we've got 550 million pounds in the bank i haven't done anything particularly special in terms of trying to do anything with the money i've just pulled on that route and played the game at four times speed which is why we're generating money so quickly between episodes because like i mentioned i just like to put put the, put the game on four times speed while our routes are bedding in uh, so that's why we've got so much money but that means we can start to build our first passenger rail railway which is kind of the ultimate goal of this the, the freight runs are all about just growing the towns and generating profits let's just take a look at the routes they're bouncing up and down a little bit i think in general though we've got the coal one that's making us 10 million pounds lumber one is up and down a little bit I just let's take a look at the finances of that one yeah it does seems to in the last three uh, consecutive periods have actually made a profit but it is quite a long run so it will kind of run at a loss for a bit until it's made its profit and obviously the fuel to chester is just an experiment everything else is in the blue or the green whichever way you look at it which is all good and obviously you can see here overall profitability 33 million pound per quarter or per period so let's get on and actually look at this new station mod i think first of all what i want to do is i want to get a service up and running from north allerton to possibly liverpool via smethic but just looking at north allerton it is on a curve and rather than kind of messing around and putting a straight station in we can actually put a curved station on this with this new mod so what i want to do i want to get the lumber train out of the way first like so he needs to be right out of the way i think then i'm going to pause the game and then we're going to delete all of this track here just get rid of pretty much all of this i'd like to keep that little viaduct because that's quite nice but most of this track needs to be deleted and so does this road and that and i'll probably get rid of the trees as well just so we can see the wood for the trees uh, it's just so we've got a nice build plane on which to put our new station now this is a mixed use railway so we've got we've got, we've got loads going on haven't we? we've got railway and we've got freight trains and we're going to have passenger trains so obviously it is going to be quite capacity constrained but from the get-go we're going to kind of try and mitigate those issues as they arise i think let's just have a look might just uh, nibble this back a little bit i don't want to do too much demolition because it is very expensive but at the same time i just want a nice area on which to build the station can i build this bring this road down probably to about there and then a just straight bit of road straight flat bit of road like that and then that's going to allow me to take a flat flattening tool area just get rid of you and then flatten this yeah this is quite costly but i think it just makes everything nice and easy a bit like that and then we're going to go ahead and build our station. So this is the ultimate station mod. I've, it's in the assets collection, which I finally got up and running. And this allows us to build curved stations. I know we've already been we've been able to build curved stations with mods before, but this actually has modular curved stations, which is just, you know, it's a massive change. It's taken a long time to get to this. So what do we want? We want high speed tracks, catenary. Yes, I'm going to say. And then platforms, track count one for now and then i think what i'll do is i'll set the curve on the get-go you can put in curved bits actually what i'll do is i'll do a bit of a re radius to begin with don't want it too sharp but obviously you do want a bit of a curve on it i think we want this to be 200 actually what's this is this going to be a local no this is a main line isn't it this is one of the main line tracks so main line wants to be 240 meters long on a curve maybe just bring that radius in and this also allows us to set the platform height which i think the standard offset for uk is 760 or is it 680 it, it's around 700 millimeters for the standard off uh, standard height and we will just chuck that in there i don't know right i'm, I'm gonna try this we'll go no catenary for now we'll chuck that in there and then what i need to see if I can upgrade this so if i go tracks actually tools 
so I can upgrade and downgrade that. I don't want the catenary. Yeah, I can upgrade and downgrade that later on, so that's fine. I don't need catenary for now, I don't think. Right, so we're going to configure this, and then we're going to delete. Delete. Can I delete these segments? No. Right. No, you can't delete set. Right, so if I put in some high-speed track like so... Yeah, this is the first thing you see straight away, is we're putting in track on a curve which just wasn't possible with any mods before i don't think and this wants four tracks i won't worry about this so see can i right, okay anyway, so i can't get rid of those tracks let's get rid of all the platform let's just hope i haven't completely broke this now and now can i get rid of the track no you can't get rid of the track that you've placed originally so let's try that again it's not the end of the world i just don't want like random catenary masts when we're not ready for electrification yet so catenary no and chuck that in i think i might just make this Where's the radius? Oh no, I might make it a bit sharper, the curve. Tiny bit, not too much. I don't want trains to be going too slow. And we'll place that just there like so, and then we'll configure this again. So yeah, you'll see, notice that the modules are quite small, but I guess that's just the way it has to be in order for this to work. Yeah, it does produce some weird little things going on there, but should, let's see what it looks like when you get towards the end. No, it's all fine. Yeah, you can see how... Oh no, right, okie dokie. First things... Oh yeah, forgot about that. Oh. You can tell I haven't used this mod. To demolish things, you need to use the platform track remover helper. You can't just press B and demolish things. So I could have demolished those bits of track, I think. Although I haven't said that, no, I can't. There's no blue dot, so I can't remove those bits of track. So what you need to do is you probably need to work from either left to right or right to left. If you put tracks here, you couldn't like meet in the middle. So you have to work from one direction to the other. And then hopefully the track will kind of sort itself out by the time it gets to the end, will it? Or we'll just end up with something a bit like that. That's, it's not a big issue. I don't think just having a staggered track, but it just I think it just goes to show how difficult it is actually building modular tracks, which are, you know, you can actually put curves on. Right, so we've got all these platforms here, which are nice and clear. They haven't got anything on them, which is good to see. I do like a nice blank platform. I think what I'll do, no, I won't press B. I keep, keep going to B to demolish the tracks, but obviously you can't do that. Can I hold? Right, so you can't hold left click either. I guess I probably didn't need to do this to be honest, but not to worry. Uh, back to platforms. Just want to put some blank platforms on here, like so, and that, like so. And you can actually modify the platform. So if I put on, let's put on two, three more segments, and then we need to go to geometry, and this is when we can start to do exciting things. So if we built a straight section, a uh, straight train to begin with it actually it's not the platforms is it i'm pressing b again right get rid of you i think you have to modify the plat the actual track so let's try that uh, geometry and then we're going to hit this the uh, directional radius modifier click on our track and then it allows us to basically left click on the track node on the blue dot and then you can actually change the radius of this so if you've built a like a straight station and you want to curve at the end perhaps then you can do that there's a little bit fiddly, but you can see there, if you just really slowly move the mouse, real smooth, like tiny little movements on the mouse, it allows you to move that radius. Maybe if I move the mouse, can I? No, the, the mouse has to be within this blue line here. So let's just put that on there. Obviously, we don't want that curve, but it's just, just to show you that you can do that, modify the radius of that. So that's all pretty cool, I think. Right, so that's the station. Then we're going to go to platforms. No, that's just the platforms layout placeholder. No, we want components, which is like your roofs and underpasses and things like that. Now the steps, let's give these a try, shall we? See what this does. Now, the only thing is when I tried this last time, right, so we've got an overbridge, which is that one there, platform overpass, and then this will appear to put your actual steps on and you can extend these right out look so if you hold over the arrow you do have to be a little bit careful because i think like that one obviously it's overlapping but you just need to stretch this out until there's no more overlap or you can have it right out here and i think it will curve with the track as well i can't really see that too much but it is curving with the platform so everything is fully fully curvable we put another set of steps on there we'll have one each side i do like this overpass construction actually this is really cool yeah the only thing i noticed when i experimented last time is the roof doesn't work which is a little bit of a shame so the actual the roof segments if you put one in don't have a gap hopefully this will get updated because the uh, the mod itself is a work in progress i don't think there are any other bridges no that's another element we'll have to lock out later so it looks as if we could build stations on a bridge or in a tunnel perhaps but yeah no roof for now but uh you know we've still it's still a pretty cool mod right i think what i want to do is just looking at this gap around the the actual steps it looks not big enough 
passengers to kind of get around safely. So I think we will put on some extra bits on both sides just to make uh, make our passenger access a little bit more friendly. Or actually what we might do is go back to this and I've pressed, pressed B again, but that's let me demolish that, that left line, but I don't know what, know what that is. Random bit of artifact that's been left. Right, so we'll do another one from here to here and then we'll come back in with our steps either side again. And that way it leaves our platform free. A little bit of a strange crooked angle on that. I think that's because of that pillar, but uh, yeah, that's fine. So we've got our overpass. We've got some cool looking benches, which you get a lot of blue dots for. Can I put a bench on here? No, I don't want it there actually. Let's have it against this wall. Yeah, it can, can look a little bit overwhelming with all of these blue dots and all these options that you have available. So you might want to zoom in just to kind of see, see where you're going to place things. Yeah, I'll have these as like mini concourse areas, I guess. Can I get, no, that'll interfere with the steps too much. Just a couple of benches like so. And then I think what I'll do is I might come back and put a little bit more platform in because this is going to be the main concourse. So components, trash bin, I've got clocks. If I put a clock in, what does it do? Yeah, let's put a clock in there and that goes through the benches. So that one's gone over there, but that one's gone in the benches and B appears to have work for removing car components. Yeah, it is a little bit fiddly. That's one going a little bit quiet, but uh, just trying to place these in the correct place. I guess we'll have lock there, maybe a couple of clocks down on these platforms and then again on these platforms as well. Like so, we've got some bins. Where can I place these? Zoom in with the computer chugging away. And that's, that's benches on a bin. And then let's maybe have a bin over here as well. And then can I kind of go over here and put a bin in somewhere? And the one there, that'll do the trick. And then we'll come in with our canopy. So I will cover all of this with a canopy. Obviously we can't cover the bit. If I put that, no. Well, that goes underneath at least, but it doesn't, just doesn't go over the steps. Not to worry. And we'll just put a bit of canopy around here. And then a bit more something a bit like that can i put some if i place the benches will they go right against the wall i will right so let's just where the canopy are so let's try and find the blue dot we need yeah fiddly 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 but yeah it is yeah it's better to look at the blue dots kind of facing away from you so we'll have a couple of benches every other dot i don't really need it particularly but it just makes the platform look a little bit more interesting so again, yeah, we'll just come along here. Maybe just one set of benches there. Come along here and then another one there. Let's just close that down, see what we're looking like. Yeah, it's got a little bit of detail on benches and stuff. And then what we can do, we can come in with the walls and fences. Now this is like a brand new looking station. So what we'll do is we'll chuck on a wall right round just to finish that off like so. Okie dokie, so I've chucked those walls on. Now the entries, let's see what we've got. Steps, the standard sort of steps, and then we've got buildings. Let's get rid of this road, configure this again. And then I think we'll just have small, small building components. Don't have any other, any sorts of other buildings, do we? Just have those entries. So let's go back to that and then we'll just have like three of them and let's see what that does when we come to the wall it does cover that which is a little bit unfortunate right if i build the walls first get rid of these yeah it does like to chug a little bit it does seem to want to struggle what have we got got iron let's no we'll stick with that for now we'll go with that and then we'll go to the entries again and then i think you can only stick it in the middle can i put a set of steps maybe what does that look like yeah you're getting a bit locked a little bit that's a shame because it would be nice to have the walls kind of all the way along as well. So there's a few little things, you know, it's not absolutely perfect yet, but like I said, it is a work in progress. So what I'll do is I'll put the medium sized building on the front and then two little buildings either side, like so. And we leave that as is. I just want to put in road first along here. Oh, right, okay, okay. just want to try and get a curved, curved road to kind of match the station almost. Let's try that again. I want, I would like a tendril on the station on that entrance if possible which i have got which is good and then another little bit of road going off there and then just a bit of road coming down like so and then a little bit of little bit of smoothing like so so this is this is just an old aliton doesn't need to be called anything else yeah it looks like i've overcooked it with the angle actually on that bit of the station so we're going to have to demolish that uh, viaduct but we'll we'll keep the viaduct in but we'll just have to put a new one in right so this is going to be a four track main line. So we'll put our four tracks in and then I'll just I'll get all this. All of this track is going to be 
War Track main line from now because we are going to be having passengers going on this bit of track. Now the only slight issue is, is this is going to have to be a terminus for a little bit until I figure out how I'm going to uh, get, well until we, we extend this track this is going to have to be a terminus. So what I'll do is first of all put on some track. So what I'll do is I'll flatten this out and then we'll put on some bits of track coming out the back. Now the only thing I'm thinking is usually your fast lines are your central lines but just thinking I don't want freight trains interrupting. Yeah I think what I'll do yeah I don't want my passenger trains interrupting my freight trains too much so, but what I'm going to do is have my passenger train passenger trains going down the central tracks and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck a quick bit of a switch on there for now and then just chuck in a signal there so this platform will be our kind of terminus for the time being and then we'll just replace place this viaduct like so we'll keep it like an old-fashioned brick viaduct but what we'll do is we'll use the more modern one um well not more modern but the modded one which gives us the option to uh for a higher speed 140 miles per hour i'm not not entirely happy with that color though let's try something a bit like that medium spacing good and then what i'll do is i'll just chuck this track into here keep that single track section for now and i'll have to replace this switch here i just put a passing loop in basically because we had two trains on this section of track so obviously it just needed to be it was the, the length between here and the machines factory was a little bit too long for trains to have to wait so that's why i've done that right let's chuck that in there put a signal on there and then we will continue this track now i think what i'm going to do because this spare episode is getting a little bit longer now i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of a speed build just to build this track all the way up to uh towards past Smethwick here up to this junction. Don't think we're going to get to Liverpool in this episode, but we might get a service into Smethwick. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a speed build just to get this track built. And then hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll be able to get a uh, passenger service on. Okie dokie, so we've put a little bit of track on now. We've got, uh, I think everything's all looking good. Yeah, the freight trains are going down the up down slows. So, all this means is the passenger trains will get in the way of the freight trains, but I think it's just more realistic having it this way. So, what we'll do is chuck on a stop there and a stop in North Allerton, and then let's just see what that's done. 
that's all going fine. Right, okie dokie. So you want to be going down Smithic after North Allerton onto that signal, please, because you want to be on the up down fasts. We do have a freight train going on up down fast, but not to worry. And then you've switched tracks. Uh, yeah, good. Right, so you're all on the up down fast. Everyone's on the up down fast. So we'll do this passenger rail. This is going to be, oh, no, we'll do this for now. Smithic to North Allerton. Yeah, because eventually this will go from, well, it's going to go up the main line, but also on Liverpool as well, connected up all the way into Reading. Right, so what we need to do for this, though, is force our freight trains to stay on the up-down slow. So the cargo, the coal's fine. This steel train, so Workshop Steelworks, is there a signal? Just wanted to stay on the fast line, slow lines, broken. That's why it's not happy with something. Right, so yeah, I didn't, didn't connect those ends up like so. And now what's that doing? Right, so coming from Reading Factory, could probably do with putting some more signals on, but I'll just leave it for now. No, I don't, don't want two of those, but I just want these to stay on the slows. Right, and then the lumber, same. So from Workshop Exchange, that needs to be renamed. And then on the return, just want it to be on that signal there. Yeah, just mean the passenger train shouldn't really be in the way too much. I think I just want to rename that to, and that's Machines Factory. So that's all good. Right, so where is the nearest depot? I think I'm just going to chuck a chuck a fake depot on here for now. One of these little, one of these little ones here. And then what we'll do, what sort of vehicles we've got? I think I've got some DMU subscribed to, have I? No, I haven't turned them on. Don't want to do a local haul service. Let's use this RA2. It's quite slow, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I turned on some kind of like 158 or something, but obviously not. Let's just chuck you on for now. I think this could be could be like a, a bit of a loss loss maker for the time being, but not to worry. Okie dokie, so we've got that train up and running. Let's just press play. How far have I Oh, way have I done this depot? Probably too far away. Where am I? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, this is definitely getting changed for something else. And the coal train, yeah, up down slows, yeah. And then the, obviously the passenger trains go on the up down fasts. Good. So we've got first passenger trains up and running, which is good. Obviously, only not quite as far as I wanted to get, but we did spend quite a lot of time taking a look at the ultimate train station ultimate railway station mod let's just take a look at that how it looks when the train comes in it's just going to look like a train pulling into a curved station isn't it but it is pretty cool that we finally have modular curved stations so yeah like i said it's called the ultimate station mod if you want to look in the workshop but i've also got my assets collection up and running if you want to take a look at that and there's a link to that in the description below but i think everything is working as it should yeah, don't know what I'm going to do about this junction. Might have to rebuild it because it is quite a bottleneck. Depends how busy this line gets, to be honest. I'm going to put at least one more coal train on eventually. But uh, yeah, it should all be fine, I think. Just need to... Uh, once we've bedded in the full passenger service all the way to like Reading from Liverpool, I will mess around with the signals and whatnot, make it a little bit better. Because obviously the stations are longer than the freight the, the stations are shorter than the freight train so i need to make sure the block sections are all the correct length but that's it i think i'm gonna leave it there for there for today gonna leave you with your little passenger train which will be getting replaced very shortly but i'm gonna leave it there for today say until next time bye bye